Welcome to Once Upon a Time in Gaming. My name is Bradley. This is our very first, I guess you would call, podcast. Just all we do is cover video games here. Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Rich. That was kind of smug, by the way. You want to do it again? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Just continue. I think I'm saying hi, Just continue. Like, I feel like I'm just saying continue. I'm Rich. Just, yeah. <laughs> I'm Richard. And I'm Jared, and I'd like to say I love your radio voice. Thank you. Anyways, um, yeah, I guess we'll just go around the table. This is going to be a channel where we just kind of cover video games. We'll let you know what we're going to cover in the next episode at the conclusion of this one. But I guess we can just kind of go around and talk about what we're playing right now. Are you just didn't you just pick something up today? You want to show? You want to share go that now? Yeah, go over yeah, now. Yeah, right now. I, I picked this up this morning. I sta literally stayed up until like. Well, it's late for me, like 11 o'clock at night to try and pre-order it. And then I fell asleep, and then I got the alert on Twitter that... Uh, you have a Twitter. It Ooh. dropped on uh, Target, and I had also pre-ordered it from Best Buy, but Best Buy was going to ship it to me next week. And I'm like, I don't want to wait a full week. What are we looking at here? So, special edition Switch OLED with the Splatoon 3. doesn't come with the game, because it's Nintendo. Nintendo okay. adds the, never adds the games in there, but uh, it was 10 bucks more than the normal Switch OLED, so three fifty nine ninety nine. Um, and I'll probably never open it. I'm, I'm that gimmicky okay. guy who never opens his games, but... So this won't be an unboxing, is what you're saying. Super dope color. <laughs> so, no, they don't seal their stuff, so I mean, we could we could open it if we wanted, but I don't want And it's funny, when I saw that on the internet, the first thing I thought was, I know of one person that's going to buy that. Oh, dude, everyone and was clamoring for this. So when you walked up with it this morning, I was not surprised. Yeah. No, I, I, I... Anytime they put this neon green on anything underwear whatever i need it <laughs> what's the point of buying something and not opening it if you're not going to enjoy it and use it what's the point of buying it collecting like when i the but same thing you collecting for myself when i walk into my game room and i see all the stuff i have and i get wet like, <laughs> but what's the, that's the point like i don't understand if you're but the thing is when are you gonna if it's worth 500 dollars in the future but you're never gonna sell it, what's it matter it's nice knowing that if if I broke a leg, I can pay it off by selling with the switch. It or he okay. he wants things that other so that a way other people can't have it. I I want to know that you know that I have this and you want it and you can't touch it. Yeah. So when we open up <laughs> when we open up the Master Chief Series X, if you're using that, why wouldn't I? It's, it's meant to be. Wait, you have a Master Chief Series? I'm sorry. It's supposed. <laughs> it's to not be... a Master Chief Series. <laughs> it's a Halo. Yeah. Halo. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what Infinite I mean. Edition, edition. Yeah, but that's yeah. the point. Is you use it, but you want to basically put that in your room and not use it. So I have one Switch OLED already. Okay. I use. That's a yes. No, no. <laughs> this is going yes. straight into the collection. Let guys. me. So 50 years from now, when somebody's like, I wish I could go back into my younger years. Like, there it is. It's right yeah, there. Yeah, but you and everybody Mint. else are starting to do that. I don't know if you can even see it. I don't care it. if everyone else is doing it. I like it. Yeah. To be honest. Uh, I don't those, do it for someone else. For those of us who don't know too much about the Switch, like myself, what OLED is just a different screen than the original one so the original one had a smaller screen I have the light. and it wasn't oled yeah that's the the cheapest oh. one <laughs> <laughs> but the oled has an oled screen uh obviously and then it's a little bit bigger too so not as much uh of the border around it so and that's supposed to compete with ps5 and series, series x, that's x. i mean well it'd be cheaper now yeah, they raise yeah, the price I mean, 350 versus playstation's 550 or whatever they are like who cares like, I feel like it's a good deal. And you know, why are you berating I know, me I like anyways? He, he, if you don't yeah. like it, don't buy it. <laughs> he yeah. buys it first. He Nintendo makes it things for people like me, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into Just it. Just a heads up, his mic's, his headphone's not working, so at times we're going to have to tell him to get closer to the mic because he's too far from the mic. Yeah, yeah, I think he sounds fine, you gotta to be honest. Yeah, you, gotta you sound still. real airy. you got to get a little closer. Why? Again, I don't, what, what the hell did I yeah, do? We're, you got to get a little closer. Yeah, if we're if we're insulting people, Get I can hear closer. you breathing. In Get a little closer, Mike. <laughs> Why don't we talk about what we're actually like gonna be doing though on the channel, right? Like that's cool. Hey, we got that, whatever. But like, I think you had a good idea. We've been talking about doing this for a while. So our plan is basically, we always remember games being better, right? Yeah. So like for instance, he used to play. He used to swear at a game called Russian Attack, oh. and he was telling us when we were little kids, dude. I used to play this game called Russian Attack. It was amazing. Yep. So then we had a Dreamcast emulation disc. We played it. First thing he does is look for Russian Attack. We put it on, straight ass. Yeah, it was not He good. even admitted it was terrible. It ruined <laughs> oh, his childhood. Oh, not even that. It's... So what we're, our plan is, is the games that we played when we were kids, start playing them, see if they're as good as we remember. See if they hold up. Now, let's yeah. be honest, 99% of them are not going to be as good as we remembered. It's more nostalgia, yeah. So that's the whole plan is to start doing stuff like that. 
well, the Russian attack story too is that he also he thought was it was also Russian. yeah he was looking for attack. Russian attack, <laughs> not <laughs> Russian and apostrophe attack. <laughs> so he couldn't find it for a while, and then when he found it, he was extremely disappointed. And know? from what I understand, he used to stay home from work with his buddy and play it while the ladies were at work. Jimmy Parker? Yeah, was his yeah name? So he exactly no, was. Not no, Jimmy. not Jimmy Parker. Well, the ladies? The ladies. It's actually his, his wife. His the wives, godfather, actually. The wives were at uh, at work, uh, and him and his buddy were at home. That's Who's is... my godfather? I don't know who that no, is. No, you don't know who he is. Yeah, you have a so godfather? Is it not Jim godfather. Parker? <laughs> Wait, we're not... <laughs> Jim Parker? <laughs> we're not Catholic, so how do you have a godfather? Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. I really saw that movie, by the way. The Godfather? I've never seen it. And then half of part two, and I stopped. I heard part three is terrible. Part three is bad. Uh, part two is okay. The first one is, that's another thing. We, it, <laughs> it, it doesn't hold up in my opinion. Yeah. But. So, so what, so how, how are we planning on doing this? Right? So basically like, every one of us has to buy a game. Okay. So we buy the game. And what are we looking at here? This is Universal Studios for Nintendo GameCube by Chemco. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the, the rating on this is like 42. So it's 42. Put it up a little 42, on, <laughs> 42 out of 100. What is it, Metacritic? It's Yikes. like 42. So you know what you're dealing with with that shit. So we all buy the game. We have about a week to play it. Okay. okay? Then when we come back, we'll just we'll go over what we remember the game being like and then what it really is like. Okay. Because I have a feeling this is not as good as I remember. But when we were kids, we used to love this place. To be honest, I... I don't remember too much about it, so for me, I think it's good to like revisit it and see. But like, yeah, I, I I'm mean, I'm excited to play. Sh- it. I'm absolutely, I'm pretty sure that this is not going to be as good as, as we remember. I don't think it was good when I played it the first time. <laughs> but we were little kids, and remember, I, this I think came out 2002, probably. And we had a GameCube. We re- we rented it, I think, from Video Adventures. Yeah, and we rented it like yeah. we always wanted to go to your studios, but of course, we're kids. We can't just go when we want to. We're pretty much relying on him. So this is the closest thing we could get to getting being there every single day. Yeah, okay. And then we just, we all take turns. Wait, so you're starting it, you're doing that, so what, you come up with something next week, or what, of what we should play? Yeah, and, and we've all have to, like, have played it or remember. Yeah, so we have to play it. it. Yeah, so point, somebody, right? we all have GameCubes. We all should have this game by now. Should we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should have it. So, if so not, yeah, we we'll, can, de- we'll yeah, decide we what we're going to do it, next, yeah. and then we'll pick that game. So basically Hopefully just... it's something that we already have, so we're not spending money every, every week, uh... Or well, we you're, you you have a but... massive collection, apparently. So I, I think... have, you know, seven. No, I only have like 700 and oh, some okay. games. That's nothing too crazy. I know Brad has his PC game pass. Yeah, so he well, has <laughs> infinite games. The thing is, he's, we're always going to get stuff from his PC point of view. Yeah. You know, he's a PC, PC master. Brad, type of guy. Yeah. Nice PC headset. Yeah. I, <laughs> I have a PC, and what is the last thing that I played? Baldur's Gate? Solitaire. Uh, dope. Yeah. So, I'm an Xbox guy. Anyways. Um... Should we maybe talk about what we think we remember about it? So I remember this game. I mean, is that what we're going to do next week in the first part of the video? Well, no, or do we'll, we... remember, we'll talk about what we remember now, and then when we go to the next episode, our... We can we... always rehash it. Yeah, you know? so I remember this game being great. Okay, I remember this. Now, one thing I do remember, it didn't look like Universe Studios, and the reason why, if I remember correctly, it's the Japanese Universe Studios. So it's a, it's a spitting image of what the Japanese one looks like, not like the California one. So I don't I re- even remember that much. I remember I remember it being you had to get like hats or something. Or the only thing stamps. I remember is Woody Woodpecker. You had to get something I remember his voice is very irritating. I do remember that. But I remember you have to get stamps or hats or something because you have to wait in line to get on the ride. Like Back to the Future and stuff. And I remember Jaws. I remember there's I'm not mistaken, I remember there's backdraft. And then if I'm not mistaken, Waterworld is just a you push a button and it just shows the plane launching in <laughs> at the end and landing and that's it. So that's well, don't ruin it. pretty <laughs> much what I think I remember. I could be wrong, but that's I, kind of what I remember. I remember the person you're controlling is, it doesn't control well. That's what I remember. I remember you like running around and then like, it's got like the Resident Evil style the tank cameras controls, yeah. where like, it's not even tank controls. It's like normal controls, but then the camera will switch. So like, you'll be running and then like, you end up going the other direction. That's what I remember, but. I was always last to play with you guys because. See, the funny thing is, I don't even me. remember playing it. Like, oh, I remember you, Woody you don't remember playing Luigi's Mansion and we owned it. I, I don't no. think we did. Yeah, but we did. We did. I don't remember playing it. I remember Woody Woodpecker for some reason, but I also know during this time I was playing, 
you know beetle adventure racing. The, but all no that that was before this but like four by four i was just listening to like limp biscuit and oh, sagging my pants right yeah, you know yeah. what i mean yeah. well, so this, I don't i'm pretty sure it was like 2002 that's yeah why. yeah no, you were a huge, oh i was into girls at that point yeah you're a huge stopped, fred durst guy stopped playing video games for a little bit but you had a gamecube dude and you're so proud of it you came over carrying it with a little no, handle. No, you're that dude it. that carried it. By <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the thing is, you didn't carry it. I guess you put your hand in between like that. So you kind of gripped it at the same yeah, time. Yeah, you More did do that. Yeah, you yeah. don't want to yeah. daintily then, carry wasn't it. Wasn't it purple? It was purple, yeah. <laughs> Most were purple. Yeah. And indigo. It's it was purple. indigo? Wow. It's called indigo. Mm. Anyways, do you remember playing it? We should have brought the cube. We have sitting there a couple of them. We do I mean, have a, we have a couple. Know cubes, what the yeah. cube looks like? I think uh, it's, that's not to... called a cube. Like that's like a pet peeve of mine. Well, you know, you're a Nintendo guy, so yeah. Through, why don't you tell us about <laughs> what to not say because you are a Nintendo. I just expert. wouldn't say cube. Like okay. I think I don't even think you need to be a Nintendo guy to understand that doesn't sound like it's a GameCube. Like the Nintendo game. Well, cube. a lot of people do call it cube. I don't know anyone that goes. Hey, let's go play the cube. Well, it's, it's also, like it's it's also 2022. So Nobody you never heard anybody say NES or SNES. That's different. Cube sounds sounds dumb. Like famicom. SNES, SNES, and SNES sounds, sounds, better, NES sounds good yeah super famicon yeah that makes sense yeah i just like the discs because they're a little yeah and i like the way these cases they actually have where you put your little memory card yeah so i mean that's it's a it they're really cool discs they're really nice cases and stuff that's probably honestly the best part of this console is the baby disc because a lot of the games are straight um, i would say maybe uh wind waker zelda was the best part of the console but all right <laughs> <laughs> all right anyway did you do you i don't know did he ever play i don't it? think he really played it no he just got he would have rented it. it for us well i'm sure he saw us playing it yeah because none of us had jobs it's 2002 yeah so that's why he had to have had rented for us. i was 15 oh so you were definitely listening to like avril lavigne limp oh yeah no avril lavigne Biscuit, was like Biscuit, no limp biscuit was earlier than that like 99 2000 when mission impossible 2 came out that's when what year is this game tw- uh, 2002 2002. You know, it's a GameCube wow. exclusive, so if you want to play this, you uh, have to get a GameCube I'm sure I bought it. No, we but, rented it. I think you missed that part. We yeah. rented it from Video Adventure. Well, apparently he, he never, never, never bought it. I don't think he remembers nothing it. about this because he thought he bought it. Yeah. Well, so apparently he doesn't remember yeah. anything. Well, I thought at some point we, I bought it. Well, we definitely bought Luigi's Mansion. I know that for sure. Yeah, no, this guy beat it. I watched yeah. him beat it, and then he goes, <laughs> I've never played that yeah. game in my life. I'm yeah. like, dude, I've I never played it. I told you, I got it. a bad memory. Yeah, so. So we must have rented it more than once then. You no, you know, I think I, I think crammed it. it. So that's the best uh, part about this is, like, I feel like sometimes when we're picking games, like, we'll have more experience with it. You know, maybe we've played it for years or whatever, but you're talking about playing this for a weekend, yeah. Right. Like, because I think that's what it was—a two-day, a two-day two rental. Video adventures was two days. But, but now this is also supposedly two-player, which means you just alternate. One person does a ride. I guess the next person gets their turn to do it. So it's really not two-player. They just put two-player. So we had to pretty much watch one person play, and most of the time it was you because you're a console. Yeah. It says two-player alternate. Yeah. So is basically, what it, what it is is you have a character. If I remember correctly, you have a character. Then you do something, and then it goes to the next person. They and why something. did we pick this? Like out of all the games we could have picked, well, the collection of well, because we want to start with something that horrible? I know for fact we played, and we might think it's better. And also, I just got back from the theme park, and I was like, you know what? I want to get that game. Oh, okay. so his right. he was yeah. getting a little tickle in yeah. a certain area. And I was like, okay, okay, let me look on eBay, see how much it is, and it's not expensive at all. So I was like, okay, it's a perfect one to start. How many off how many bones is such about? <laughs> about? About twenty five bones. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of bones for that. You know, game. Well, no, 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 but that's with shipping. It was nineteen. Yeah, I think that's something important when you have games. It makes sure you kind of give an idea what it's going to cost people if they want to yeah, get so, it. Yeah, so that's so true. about twenty five twenty five bones, as he likes to say. Uh, depends on shipping. That's you, a lot. I like to say smacks. Well, I don't you, know why if, I got real close. If to you're the mic, if you're lucky, smacks. you can get a good seller who would give you free shipping. So about twenty five bucks. Yeah, you told me we were going to do this game, so I went and bought it myself. Yeah. After shipping and everything, do you think I got a better deal or a worse? You definitely deal got than a worse. Deal. No, you, you got a better deal because you're the shyster that'll continue I'm, to I am scour, shysty, right? but yeah. I'm also lazy. <laughs> and so Jared said, "Oh, we're going to do this game." So we looked real quick. I think mine was like twenty nine bucks, but free Ooh. shipping. Well, I could just easily so I feel better. love it at twenty five. I could easily, I could easily just look on my phone and see how good my memory is. I'm pretty sure it's like 25 bucks. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but and it's in good condition. Like, it looks like it's pretty minty. So, I well, mean, see, it's but that's minty. Another thing. That's wow. another thing. Is see, when you never we buy... He doesn't like cube, but he goes with minty. But mint, everyone says minty. But here's Nobody the thing. says cube. We also, when I when I buy games off of there, I make sure they're in good condition. I don't buy the ones where you they have a couple GameCube games and you open them up and there's like, it's totally like an Xbox 360 case because yeah. the disc is like this big. Yeah. And then it has a little flat because it's two disc. Mm-hmm. I stay away from those because that's just, how do you lose the case? Or they don't have the manual. How do you lose the manual? I mean, it comes together. 
It's yeah. not like it's an N64 game where it has a No, I know some box. people that you actually can get more money if you sell the discs separately from the case and may, the Okay, book. maybe that's what they're doing. So they're probably selling the disc for 15 selling probably. the book and manual oh, for Are you looking to see how much it is? I am. Uh, this guy is sixteen ninety nine, but that's not including shipping. Yeah, it doesn't look minty, dude. Uh, 2001, you get a two-year protection plan actually, by Allstate for two ninety nine. Let's see. I don't know what his shipping is, but... I can look right here and see exactly what I paid for it. Or best offer. Sixteen ninety nine. Is it free shipping? You said. I don't know. It. This one comes Ooh. with the owner's manual. Does this one have the owner's manual? Yeah, he just did. He just said that. That oh, one comes with a nice yeah. sticker on the. So I got it for nineteen ninety eight in the five hour shipping. Yeah. So. So twenty five bucks. Twenty smacks. Yeah, guess the headphones aren't working, right? Twenty smacks. Yeah. <laughs> Whose headphones? Oh. Mine, because I didn't hear that. Uh, oh. you guys were talking about the game manual. He just says he likes key. to buy them. But complete. that one thing a lot of people don't remember pretty is pretty much that, because this is pretty much before the internet was big. Is if you actually go in the manual. It actually tells you exactly what you're supposed to do first. Like, oh, make your character, you know, pick your character. It tells you exactly everything in the manual. Nowadays, if you just get a little sliver, like a little piece of paper. Yeah. And but this actually yeah. will give you in detail exactly what you're supposed to do first. These items, everything. Which is, I feel like the books are worth it more in the older, older stuff because it actually gives you everything in detail. Yeah, I never opened those ever. I don't remember ever. See, nowadays they don't give you anything. Now I'll look at them just to see what they look like. You know what? You know what I'm looking forward to, to be honest with you, is looking back at this video in maybe a half year, six months, a year, and seeing how bad it really is. It's not bad. (laughs) That's how. I mean, if you look at most people that have done videos, they'll once in a while they'll put their beginning videos to prove a point. See where you gauge where you are. So yeah, I feel like, like I'm yelling. I feel like he's whispering. You're not, you're not yelling. You're at not yelling. Well, you're you don't have a, your your yeah. headphones not working. No, you yeah. sound good. But that's why I think I'm yelling. No, you're sounding good. I mean, you're a little far from yeah, the you're mic. You're a little but... far from the mic. No, away, but... no, I, you don't want to be too close. Well, I'm also, close, yeah. you know, yeah. slanted on the seat here. So I think if you had a headset, you would be you would be a little closer. Is that an you, Xbox headset? Bro? You would hear yourself. This is your cheap ass headset. Uh, yeah. So don't roast, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, Anyways, I haven't let's. Uh, so why do you have it on if it's not working? Yeah, you want to finish it up or? Yeah, so I guess we're gonna just cover this. Everyone's gonna play it. I give us about what two or three days each person to play it. I got my copy. You got your copy. I'll lend Brad my copy. So he doesn't have to. Yeah, spend I'm. Bones I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you. I'm probably only gonna play about 30 minutes of it. No, you're gonna uh, be so into it. You're like, oh my god, it's better than I remember. Do we have to beat it? No, no. <laughs> no I would say I say no. you get a weekend. So if you could beat it within a weekend, you have plenty of time to do it within a weekend, go ahead. But I don't think... Let's mandatory at least an hour, everybody. If no, it has to be more than an hour. I mean, I don't know if I have hour. more than an hour to play this game. <laughs> well, the thing is, you got to look at it this way. You have... You can't you can't say you have to beat the game, because if you play games like, for instance, you go back to Resident Evil Remake, that game could probably take you 10 hours to beat it. That's a long time. So that's why you have to do at least a, just at least a couple hours. Just, uh, just, just give, give it all you yeah. got. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 uh, you spend the time you have available to play it, and then we'll go over it, and we'll see what, what we... Uh, I think everyone should kind of go into it like already with their predeterminations of like what they remember, and then try to, I guess, go through that in the game. So let's say you remember like, oh, I remember the cameras being terrible. That's what I said. Maybe I spend time kind of really diving in and at to see if they're as terrible as I remember. Or, you know, like you said, oh, I, the rides were cool, so you're going to spend more time doing the rides. Like, obviously, just in this game, but, like, if you think the, the, the soundtrack sucked, maybe, you know, you go through the, the menu and listen to the soundtrack and see if it really was as bad as you remember, stuff like that. My opinion, at least. Yeah. No, that sounds good. Well, you have two days to, I'm saying at least two days to do it. You know, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to... You can remember how good this. Game I mean, Jared's selling this thing like it's a good game, so we'll we'll give it a shot. And all I know is when I pick a game, I'm gonna pick a game that Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one I don't have. I'll have to draw. So like that, that's what we're going with. You're, and you're you remember it as a good game. I remember it being fantastic, but I also okay. went to what 2002. I said I was 13, maybe 14 years old. Yeah, yeah you I, were just really starving for some universal. Yeah, well, we went all the time, and then when we couldn't go, it's like, okay, well, what's the next best thing? We'll play this game. If this is the next, well, we'll see. <laughs> hey, you can't roast until you actually we'll play. We'll see. Right. So. Yeah, I mean, 13, 14, you were probably just, you, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he was doing with 13 or 14. Uh, I don't even know where you were going with that. You know where I was no. going. No clue. So you probably barely, never mind. Again, I'm not going to touch that. But... Yeah, I guess that's that'll conclude this episode, right? Is that all we have? To, you want to talk about anything else? Tell people what you're playing right now, other than this. 
I I don't have anything on the docket. Is the, docket? How, how, how about how about this? How about this? You just picked up Splatoon, right? The no, little... the split. That's the best part about this. It doesn't come with yeah, Splatoon. Said, yeah, that's, yeah, that, that doesn't come out for two. Yeah, no. Weeks, what, what I was gonna so. say is, so you got the Splatoon Switch OLED. Yeah. Fancy schmancy. I'm not gonna 350 open it. smackers. 350 three, three smackers. Three fifty nine. 359. So did you get the did you get the you said target did you get the warranty? No, but I got the I had Why? Used my not red card. Ever open it. I used my yeah. red card and oh, 5% off. So you say <laughs> Target red card does not sponsor yeah. this video. 5% off. <laughs> yeah, 5% so. off that. 5% so off what, anything how, you buy at Target. Oh, okay. What use a red card. what are you going to go after next? Like what's your next For thing? Me, you have anything? Uh next I have uh there's a Ninja Turtles Cowabunga collection coming out. I'm the gimmick guy. I like special edition stuff. Mm. So that one's coming out. Uh, I think middle of next week. And what is that? Is that a Switch as well? No, it's it's a it's the game. Uh, it has all the old uh, Ninja Turtle games from NES, SNES, arcade games. SNES. Uh, <laughs> yes. No, no cube. Yes, no cube. Uh, uh, those, games are, on there. those are bad. The GameCube ones. But it's a collector's edition. We'll 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 put it on the channel once we get it. But um, and then I got. Uh, I'm not a big you know God of War fan, but there's a collector's edition one. It comes got with no that. game, right? Comes with the. The, uh, it comes with the digital. steelbook and then the digital. Digital, yeah. Uh, That's so upsetting. No, no disc, but uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll unbox that too, or, or at least look at the box because I don't want to open it. But okay, uh, that's all I got going on. Oh, uh, what about much. what about you, pops? No Nothing. clue at this point. Well, you gotta... I mean, it'd be an older game for me. It'd probably Wait, be a how much often, older game. How often do you pick up games? Not very often. You guys were picking them up. I oh, mean, you mean as pick? You can, I meant yeah. no, pick them up. We used to do it a lot, but now. The places we go, you, we don't find any. We literally find you zero. We used to get at, we used to get at least four. One time there was a rack. We would go. The, yeah, that rack has been haunting. There me. was a rack at one of the thrift stores. Yeah, we were just and picking like, through games, and that we called this they, dude. How much were they? Like two, oh, three bucks yeah, each. Oh yeah, three bucks. And there's us and another dude. And we're just and, going through stuff, find PlayStation games. And so he tells me about it a couple of days later. So I'm like, I'm gonna go find this rack, and I go to a. Uh, uh, the thrift store next to the one you guys. I went to a Goodwill, yeah. thinking there was a rack there, yeah. mm-hmm. and, and you went in there. There was asked. no rack. You went in there. Asked. I didn't ask. Yes, I was did. embarrassed to ask. I'm glad I didn't. What do you even say? Like, yo, where's the rack? <laughs> where's games? the game rack? I mean, it was full of games. Dude. Yeah. It was full of games. It's yeah. just the, if, those of you who have never been to a, a place like this. It, they actually have a cart that they put things on from the back room. They roll them out, and then they'll set them in a certain area and then put them away. We happened to get there right when they rolled it out. And there was a bunch of games on there. The guy that was there next to us, he wasn't looking for video games. So it worked out for us anyway. Okay. But we got a lot of them that day. Does he and just frequent the thrift shop? He just, this guy? What is he there for? <laughs> the guy? He was just watching. a customer. No, he's just a customer like us. But he, oh. when we walked the over, rack had movies on it, too. When we walked mm. over there, he was standing next to it. Yeah, yeah it, had, it had more than video games on it. was anything that's this size. CDs, like, cassettes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so games. we tell him, and he goes rushing over there. And then he calls him, there's no rack. And I'm like, where'd you go? Went to the Goodwill. Wasn't that the good deal? <laughs> you didn't So then he goes over to the next, and the rack is gone. Yeah, the rack's gone. gone. Because when it's empty, they're going so to roll it back this, in the back. Yeah, course, to this yeah. day, that has been haunting him. Like he knew. How many no, games I've had good you... finds, dude. Yeah. I've had good finds at, a, at thrift stores. I'm, yeah. I'm okay. You know but... what? We, we can, we're going to do that, too. We're going to talk about some of the best games we have, the most expensive games that we paid the least yeah, for. Yeah, Richard obviously. knows the most expensive and, game that we and, have. Uh, we and where we found them and stuff like that. And we also are going to go to you know, video game places and pick up games that way as well. We'll film out on location and stuff, I guess it'd say. So we're going to do that as well. It's not going to be just like a podcast all the time. Most of the time it will be. But we're going to do that as well. So so uh, we've done that in the past, but we haven't really filmed it. So you are you got nothing on the dock. <laughs> <laughs> no, long, I don't. I mean, long story he's short. He's more of a, a game collector than a player. I think I fall more into the collecting you're side the, as you're well. You're the gimmick collector. Yeah, you call me whatever. Yeah, I mean, I have... I'm starting to stack big box on big box stuff just because there's no room to put it, but... I mean, I've done videos on this room on room my other my other yeah. channel. I have a, a different channel, and I've done uh, video, videos, video room on this game room somewhat. I haven't updated it, and uh, I have a sim as well. Uh, a driving sim. So I've done videos on that. So I, I like more of it setting it all up, laying it all out, than actually sitting down and playing them. By the time I get done doing all well, that, you just there's just not enough time. I think you just haven't too. played Universal Studios in a while. So once you play this, you're, gonna get uh, you're back. He's I don't know that I've ever okay. played it. I might hooked. have. Yeah. I feel like you'd probably just watch this play because you're probably like, what are these guys doing? I remember yeah. the Disneyland yeah. one. I remember. Oh, Universal that's a good Studios. one too. We'll go Very back. Well. We'll visit that one. That's what I. What do you got? What do you got on the docket? I'm. I'm NBA 2K23. I sat out 22. I sat out 22. 
Sit out 20. And every time I go to the store, I'd see it there. I'm like, I almost would buy it. I'm like, no, I got to sit out a year because I can't do the online because those kids, they just know how to glitch yeah, the game. Yeah, they play with like a chrono. You know, I make a, or something. I make yeah, a defensive it. player, and my defense is worthless, but they, yeah, everybody can shoot threes in my face. But I think Sounds after it. sitting out a year. So you think they fixed that? Which absolutely not. No, 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 <laughs> no absolutely <laughs> not. But the thing is, I think it's time to go back. You're going to get that special edition where you get the NBA League Probably pass? Probably not. Yeah. I'll make sure I get the Series X version, not the, the so last one. Seventy. The last one you bought was the Kobe, 21. the Kobe one, right? Yeah, the Mamba edition. Yeah, I thought we bought twenty twos, but we got them on clearance. No, it was no 21s. twenty Zion, Zion, was, and then the Mamba 21s? edition. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you, what we did is remember we bought twenty one, and then when the Series X came out, they gave you the free exactly updated version if you bought the Kobe edition. Yeah, that's the last one. So I bought. it was technically like a new game, but it was the same year. Yeah, so that's the last one I bought. I didn't buy so, twenty. So your next game is. Just a rehashing of last year's game. Yeah, pretty much. Before that. But I'm okay. also playing MLB The Show. And again, rehashing that's, from the year before. That's fine. Okay. All right. Yeah, hey, if that's but, what you're but, into, and then there's, yeah, there's, there's a yeah, new but, Disney game coming out on Game Pass. That looks that looks okay. I've already pre-installed it. You have, Jeez, to, you have to remember. Gigs. I already pre-installed it. So that's pre -install. prob, I, I nice. think that comes out the the third, no, the 6th. I think it comes out September 6th. Yeah. But it's only um, early access, so it might not be finished game. Yeah. What so, were you saying? I was gonna say you have to remember the show was on Xbox for the first time, so that's not it's new to us because we don't play. PlayStation. Oh yeah, MLB the show. So you can say, okay. "Oh, it's been around a long time," yeah. but on PlayStation, we don't yeah. play yeah. PlayStation. Yeah, not any of the newer Ooh, ones. The older we systems we do. We do play PlayStation. No. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, this guy does. This guy does. I don't. Yeah. PlayStation One and Two. We, and we already discussed. You don't play. Yeah, he, true. I'm no. a gimmick guy. No, no, no. no. You're a NBA 2K fan. Why do I play everything? And Brad's but, a PC. But that's just. <laughs> That's just the next game, the newest game that's coming out. Because PC when, Masters. like, the, was it the, the protocol game? What's it called? The one that Calypso like, that's, protocol. Yeah, that's Callisto? coming out. Yeah, that's coming out uh, December. I'll play that. But that's you which know, one's three. that? Did the I one that looks that like one? Dead Space. Oh yeah, I'll play that for sure. Yeah, that yeah. was a, that, and then Dead Space the remake comes out in, like January. I'll play year. that as well. So yeah. I mean, those are just a little bit further off. The one I've been wanting to play, and that I guess that would be on the docket for me, is I want to play the Stalker games. I haven't played them. Yeah. You know what that is? Really it's up. like the you're like in Chernobyl or some yeah. crap, I think, or Pripyat, yeah. Yeah. Ukraine. Yeah, something like that. You're more of a horror game guy. Not anyway, really. Right? I feel like you play that more than the rest of us. I'll play for like five minutes and then I'm about to poop my pants so <laughs> <laughs> to turn it off. Yeah. Or start turning lights on. I talk to myself when I'm playing them because I'm or you like back it makes into me a feel. Room? Yeah, I'll do the back. So like a lot of the games I play, they just have like the stupid jump scares that just come out of nowhere. Like and it's all sequenced, so it's basically a walking simulator with like a painting will fly off the wall or something dumb. Where if I get scared, I just back in, so that way the scary thing will happen. I won't see it. Jeez. It's almost like why are you playing? Why the game? play? Yeah. I'm trying to survive. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. that <clears throat> excuse me. That reminds me of uh, when we used to go to Not Scary Farm. We'd pay all this money to go to this place to get scared, and then, and then make yeah. all this do all this effort so we didn't get scared and so every time i told him every time we didn't get scared you, you're basically ripping yourself off but your whole goal is to spot everything so you didn't get scared by things but yeah that's what you paid to well, do so i think that's a big time horror element i mean think about you go watch a scary movie and what's the first thing you do is like well I'm, i don't because i'm i mean i have <laughs> like you cover your eyes you know or you're just like oh, oh like Mike, that's gonna protect michael you know? <laughs> <laughs> michael <laughs> yeah uh, so i don't know we do that so is there anything on eBay you're watching? No, you're no, I haven't. I haven't. I have a couple uh, I'm watching. Right I, now. I spent you know three fifty nine ninety nine <laughs> on this. So no, you I'm didn't, not, dude. Uh, you use the Target Red. Oh card. yeah, the Target Red. Got, got me down. Yeah. Um, so no, I'm, I'm, if you guys want, I'll open it. Like just to prove I'm not that gimmicky, I'll open it. I don't it. think. I feel you, like you're trying to prove. I don't think do I need to be us? No, I I, I want to open it. Okay. I really, I just wanted somebody to tell me open it. Open it. I'll move this out of Don't drink that. You're close to the mic. Yeah, you're a little too close now. <laughs> now I'm too close. Well, you get close to... I don't have headphones, okay? <laughs> yeah, that was loud. And yet he's wearing them. Because I don't want to be the guy those not are, wearing yeah, them. Yeah, um, but no, yeah, some nice headphones there, dude. <laughs> but hang on. I'm not yeah. going to drink my beverage. So, so hang on. All so right. you guys can... I don't know which way I'll put... Uh, whatever. Maybe camera's over there. Yeah, maybe. But... So... Wow. It means like a toy, dude. It's a $359.99 toy. <laughs> Whip it out. But cool little... Uh, I'll pass it around. You guys take a look at that one. That's but cool. I like the... It's like darker and lighter and then the back is uh i wasn't going to take it out of the plastic but uh you're making me all itchy you're and right stuff. you I, were I, I stress out I on you were and i am here you go show that's, that to the camera yeah, when you get done. fancy 
It's nice. It's got the nice neon there. Here, but, I can I can hold it closer. So Splatoon two is or the Splatoon games are like uh like paint, right? So yeah, they they made it look like there's some splatter that's like paint the, on there. That's nice. like the battle royale where you throw paint on each other kind of game, or is it not uh, a battle royale? To be honest, I've never played any of them. I have oh, them, but I haven't played them. But um, and then I think this has a nice little. This was was a cool selling point to me. I gotta repackage this. Oh, so now you're opening it all the way. But Ooh. that's a pretty cool looking oh, yeah. little splat oh, on the dude. front there. Dude, there's yeah. a there's a stain on it. <laughs> Show the, so, the back. back. Um, the back is that's pretty bad. Pretty, pretty generic or uh, Show normal. Up there, you gotta yeah. get closer. You turn yeah, around so you just, see the, the the paint the paint splot. Yeah, the paint. I'm sure there's better splot. unboxing videos, but um, wait, when it came out today? It came out this morning. Um, oh, put those so. Back. Like I said, I was up kind of late trying to make sure that uh, so what's late I would get to, what's my pre-order. Late to you, so right so I was like, okay, like East Coast time, 9 p.m. us, uh, you know, our time would be midnight there. And I'm like, okay, I'll stay up till 9. And they didn't release it. And I was on Target, Best Buy, all these. But I know Best Buy does theirs as like mountain time. So at 10 o'clock, oh. Best Buy did theirs. So I was like, boom, got on right away, ordered it. And the downside with theirs is they wanted me to come pick it up next week. Oof. Which was cool. I'm like, hey, I got one. I think they're limited. I got one cool. And then Target, they hadn't launched theirs, but I got a, an alert on my watch at like 1230 in the morning. Okay. So I went on Target's website and ordered it through Target, and I was able to pick it up today. So I canceled my one through Best Buy. Um, okay, next question is, is does the wife know? <laughs> yes. Well, when she watches the videos, you know, she'll know so, all the students. No. So that's a no. So, that's, that's a no. A no. So... <clears throat> Oh, but I mean, that's another upgrade to her ring. <laughs> for three hundred fifty-nine dollars, would she get a Cracker Jack ring? I don't well, know no, what Cracker Jack, a Cracker Jack, Cracker Jack ring, <laughs> Cracker Jack ring. That reminds me of a uh, um, what's the show you? I apologize to for all the, the noise rest, he's the making, yeah. the wrestling. Uh, unless you like what that. Was it? There was the radio show you used to listen to. Um, they're still on. They switched over to where Mark and Brian used to be. Oh, Frosty, oh, Frosty, 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 Frosty Heidi and Frank, Frank yeah. where uh, they would do that yeah. thing at the close where they'd say all different things. They're like, you really got to listen to the whole show. Yeah. That would be one of those right there. Crack a Jack ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's one of those shorts. Yeah. There's a short right there. I don't even know Crack if that's the right way. Jack but... ring. You know, it's, you, I can tell it's been open now. Oh, my gosh. I know. You guys just made me lose so much value. Wow. Yeah. Tragedy. That's that's. It's funny. I saw that and had no interest in it. That's when I saw it on the thing, I was like, ah. Care less uh, to answer your question, I'm not uh, watching anything on eBay. Oh. Jared was asking you if, gotta if watch, we got anything. I got a couple things minutes, watching yeah. right now, and I think they're going to end soon, but I haven't decided if I want to even. Do you, do you want to elaborate, or is it like a secret? It's just Resident Evil. Resident Evil Remake and then Resident Evil 4 for GameCube. Resident Evil Remake? Yeah, the, like the one with Resident Evil 1, the yeah, remake. remake. For the okay. GameCube, game, right? Yeah. yeah. That was game, pretty good, yeah. yeah. I don't think it's... I was just... It doesn't say Remake or anything on it, right? It's, it's just, just Resident Evil. Well, yes, but yeah. you say yeah. Resident Evil, you're going to think of the old one with the crappy act. I think of GameCube, but I'm a Nintendo fanboy. <laughs> I don't know if he, yeah, I don't know if he mentioned it or not, but we're doing GameCube games right now. So then few, the games we'll be doing for the at least a few videos will be GameCube. Because well, we was, have a lot of consoles there. I thought that so. was up. Oh yeah, I'm not committing to anything. Oh, is that what we're doing? I'm not committing to it, but I, I'll probably go GameCube. I'm a big. Well, GameCube that's guy, what we but... could do is like a Turtle Darkness. I mean, that's that's gonna be like a hundred dollars. Well, here's here's the problem. What's the problem? I don't. I didn't have it after, so yeah. I just let it go. Um, no, I'm not gonna pick a game that I know you have to go and. Buy that's true. Or, well, I got to get them eventually. Like maybe, I, I think let's yeah. maybe we can alternate because well, we all have I already have an idea for the second one. But, but it's not your turn. Yeah, it's I definitely not your turn. I'm picking something <laughs> like super cheap and super easy. It's something that I remember playing. Oh, yeah. I, you, that's exactly you NBA a, 2K20. <laughs> do, you guys, do you guys have PCs? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're the one that keeps saying. <laughs> no, I'll probably pick something on like the Xbox Marketplace for like $3.99. Well, no, but if you can't. That we well, play. You can't. We all had to play it. What we're yeah. trying to do is you actually have to play it on the original hardware. If, yeah. I mean, if you don't have it, that's understandable. But we have it. So we're trying to, like, for instance, the Resident Evil we're talking about. I could I have it on the Xbox. I have it on Xbox One, but it'd be better to, when you play it to play it on the GameCube because that's what originally was on GameCube. Yeah, that's true. That's how we want to do it. I mean, but you don't, you don't, you're not a collector like this guy. So like, yeah, yeah, that's true. You don't. But have, I have an extra GameCube if you'd like one. Yeah, just give it to me. I don't think I have space. I, I see. My you, you keep talking, like no, no space next to the computer. Yeah, you <laughs> definitely don't have space for that little cube. You know, like, I think it's quite. Massive. You don't have space for the cube. Yeah, I think it's. 
I guess I can just carry it around with a <laughs> handle. Right? Um, but, yeah. yeah, no, I'll probably just end up doing most of these. Because a lot of the going games, over like to one of your guys' places. Well, a lot of the games you can get on modern consoles now. Well, modern. now that I think about it, yeah, I but, don't know if I could play my GameCube. I just upgraded the TV, and it's only HDMI. So you have to buy like a CRT. Well, no, no I would he, need the composite into one. Get get transfers yeah. into an HDMI. Get a hypercon, I think. Dave. Or he can buy just like an Elgato or something, couldn't you? I don't know. And plug it in there. You're not going to do any game capture, but you can still use it. There you go. Or like a retro tink or something. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'd, I'd rather spend $4, he, he not know, 100 He knows how much I love that name, retro tink. Why don't you like it? <laughs> so irritating. You name some, I guess, well, I guess it works. Us. Yeah, yeah, I love right. the retro tink. <laughs> yeah. Retro tink? It, it's kind of a dumb name, Yeah, I guess. What else is What's another dumb name for something? Let's just burn all the sponsors now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I mean, obviously, within reason, if you could play it on the, you know, for instance, if you wanted to play Splatterhouse, are you really going to spend eighty or ninety well, dollars? Well, you know, you can get, get the, well, get but, but see, you we never the played new, that. So the, it no, I'm just an example. Yeah, yeah, I'm just yeah. an example. Like for, like Luigi's Mansion, we go get Luigi's Mansion. I think you are, you probably already have it, right? Uh, yeah. I think it's like, well, you're a Nintendo guy. Yeah. yeah. Was, yeah. What is well, it like? Seventy? No, it was. It's no, it's Rich Tendo. Forty, yeah, oh, Rich, Rich Tendo. <laughs> to be clear, you guys made that name up for no, me, you and I'm you, okay no, with it. But it's also by, pretty no, stupid. So, you have to go by Rich Tendo now. So when we do the next video, no. you have to say so, Rich the, Tendo so here. So what is what does Luigi's Mansion go for right now? <laughs> about seventy bucks. Uh, I don't know. You pull it up on your yeah, on your. So about what seventy bucks? You think? Yeah, let's let's probably not. Probably like fifty. Maybe forty. You could probably get one used. Let's go, Luigi. Of course, it's used. <laughs> yeah, you think it's bad. sealed? Yeah. Are you buying sealed games to open them and then play them? Yeah, what are you uh, talking about? Coming from the guy who doesn't want to open anything. Yeah, ever. I'm yeah. not buying it sealed and then okay, playing so it looking, for your. Yeah, go GameStop. Oh no, I'm saying. I said oh, you can probably get one used, and you said, "What is there going to be a new one?" Of course, there's a new <laughs> one somewhere. I could get one here for fifty dollars. Just buy it now, but let's see yeah. the, the quality of it. Because there's one below. It's like seventy. No, seventies no, too. This too one actually high. looks pretty good. That's probably an OBO though. Oh, best offer. Well, this one's yeah. this one's seventy dollars. <laughs> Fancy. Buy it now, but I don't understand why it's so much higher than the other one. But yeah, so you're looking about fifty to fifty to seventy dollars now. Eternal Darkness, for instance, that's I think that's Eternal like a, Darkness about a hundred. That's about a buck. I'm gonna say a buck oh seven. Maybe, maybe you should maybe you should mention to tell people that I'm not aware or haven't done it before when you're buying things on eBay what you should. Be careful of and what you should, yeah, what you look for I got, when you buy them yeah. to make sure you so get the best the thing. The cheapest one I see is ninety bucks. Yeah, Oof. that's about right. So there, you have tips on buying things on yeah, eBay. Yeah, I, I I bought car parts for my old truck on eBay, <laughs> oh, and they were just like replacement <laughs> lights. What kind of truck eBay was motor. What kind of truck was it? Yeah. What kind of truck was it? One at a time, gentlemen. What kind of truck was it? A bright yellow, nineteen eighty six <laughs> Ford F one fifty automatic, but four wheel drive. So what happened to it? Uh, the drive shaft snapped. <laughs> <laughs> Never replaced it. Uh, sitting in a lot somewhere. <laughs> so yeah. when I buy stuff on eBay, I look first thing I want to look is, um, and actually you taught me this, is make sure the seller has a high rating because sometimes they're like ninety. And that's not high. No, you have to be like a hundred or ninety-eight. Well, ninety-nine. yeah, you don't okay. have to be. I, you you want to buy because... something from whoever you want, yeah. but just know like the lower the number, it's like the guy in the corner who says like. He's like know, the used but, car yeah. salesman. Yeah. So honestly, what he was telling me and he's showing me is a little tip. If it's if a seller's like ninety eight point eight, and it's like two dollars cheaper, and the other guy's a hundred, and, and it's just you know his is two dollars more. Yeah, it's almost worth going for the guy who has a hundred rating because peace of mind. I guess. Well, yeah, don't I don't, don't just take the rating into account either. Look at how many things they've sold. That's like, true. A guy could have a hundred rating, but he sold ten things. A guy yeah. could be ninety eight point eight, and he sold a thousand. That's true. Like there's there's gonna be some issues, and sometimes the seller can get. Uh, get doinked because of USPS or UPS yeah. or FedEx or something you, like that. So you could look at, there's a bunch of different, a lot you could of look at the they, negatives and see what they are. Cause sometimes they're really, well, we trivial. were looking at one and the guy, one of the comments on this guy, it was a bad one. Like yeah. it was like a rip off. So we didn't even bother. Yeah. But what I it. like to do myself is I want to see a lot of images. If they have multiple images, usually they're, I Never have an issue. Okay. When they have one, sometimes they won't even have an actual image. It'll be like a, a yeah. screenshot or stay away from or a uh, copy or something mm-hmm. like that, and you just to cover. And that's like some Chinese website. So if they, uh, it, it's if they have the, uh, yeah, if they have the a lot of images, front, back, sideways, and stuff like that, you know, all the different things. You see, they put a little bit of effort in. That also tells you a lot right there because guys that are just ripping you off or just throwing them on there real quick are not going to do that. So that's it's you know you I, want to be able to see. You want to be able to see uh, 
the actual game. You don't want an image of something else. It will actually say that as well. Let you know that what you're looking at is what you're you're bidding on. What you're looking at, if yeah. you're bidding, that is. Which okay. bidding is a whole other deal. There's a whole other trick to doing that as well. So what's the trick to that? To bidding. To me, the what bidding you want to do is, is, is you want to have the highest bid <laughs> when, no. it, oh, when yeah. it closes. Now, to me, the way uh, uh, what you want to do is. If, if something – you have to have a, a price in your head of what you're willing to pay. So whatever it is, 150 or whatever, that is your max. You have to stick with that. And then bid at the very end. I like to do it like three seconds because if you bid ahead of time, then it, you can be the leader for days. Yep. And then at the last second you lose. So what I like to do is wait to the end, and uh, you can bid your max. And you're only going to pay your max, those of you who haven't done it before, if – if that's what you have to. So if you bid 150 and the the next highest one was 60, you're only going to pay like, like 65 or whatever it is. So you don't have to worry oh, about it. You're not going to always pay your max. Your max is your max. Okay. It's not that. the max. So it's almost best just putting the max early on if you want to watch it. And then if it gets past you can, that point, but you know. could. I mean, I had one the other day where it was, uh, you know, something valued at about a hundred bucks and no one had bid on what it. What was it? And there was like eight, eight, uh, Watches? eight hours left oh. or something like that. Uh, I think there was two watchers and the guy, like the first bid was 50 bucks. So I just put a bid for 50 bucks with all that time left. I went to the movies and all of a sudden it said I won later on in the day. I'm like, I won for 50 bucks. Really? What was it? Um, it was a limited run. Um, that dude that saves the world. What's that thing called? Scott Pilgrim. Fights the world. Saves. The, I don't really. Yeah, Scott. So Pilgrim you don't even know what you're buying. I don't know. Wait, well, it was a, it was game? a game. Yeah, yeah, yeah Scott, 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 Switch. Oh. A Switch uh, collector's edition sealed, of course. Well, yeah. Scott so Pilgrim. you're never gonna open it. Never gonna open that one. The okay. thing. The other That's thing is, game. you have to. I like to. Wouldn't put 150. It'd be 150, 03, or 04, or something a little odd. Because believe it, believe it or not, I have, I've actually lost, and it still haunts me, even though it went over my max. It was the. Uh, uh, Atari 2600 it was a light sixer they call it and uh, I lost it by I think it was three or f maybe five cents ten cents or whatever and uh, I've never seen another one like that have so you, you have to you I mean have you to don't be know willing. what that guy's max was you have though. to no, max you, you don't you don't but the thing so. is that was the point is I, on that particular one I didn't put my max oh, I was okay. kind of just playing going a little higher a little higher a little higher and then I lost out on on less that I was than less than I was willing to pay I was willing to pay more and lost because I didn't put my max. Hmm. Now, once again, my max could have been lower than his because you have the yeah. hidden thing as Just well. Just pretend that it was. So you but the fact is, I didn't yeah. put my max. I didn't, and I lost. You know, well, part but, of it's kind of exciting. When you're... <clears throat> it's exciting, but yeah. how devastating! Well, remember, I are called you, you that one time. Yeah. I told you, like, hey, I got uh, Super Mario. What was it? Uh, Mario Sunshine. Something like that. And right. I was like, yeah, only it's like what forty six dollars. No, it's I had, less than that. Was no, less. I think it's what it's valued at, and I had it like at twenty two bucks. You're like, there's yeah. no way you're getting. It. And I was on the phone with him, and there's like three minutes left. He goes, you're no way you're yeah, getting. Yeah, but you end up getting like thirty five. I looked at the notification. Somebody already passed me. Like, yeah, I ended up getting for like thirty five bucks, but you kept telling me you're not going to get it. You're yeah, for twenty two, you're yeah. not going to get it. Is what I was saying. Yeah. And did you? And then what happened before that? I got snaked by two other people for two other games before that. Yeah, and I was like, too. this time I'm like, I'm going to just overpay because I'm know, not losing a game. You know, another trick I just thought of that actually works is that if you can try to find, because you have the multiple ones, if you find one and it ends at a really odd time, I work at night, so I'm up yeah. till five in the morning. So anything that's going to end, end at one, two, three, or four in the morning, Okay. Uh, those ones I try to do because there's not as many people up. Yeah, they're asleep. Yeah. yeah, so and sometimes you forget because I've actually done that. If you don't have a you know have a reminder on there, and the thing is when you get to the very end, like you were saying, and you have that bid go through, or you make you know if you do it with three seconds, you put that last bid, you have that loading time. Yeah, yeah. you get that. Circle and it's going that through, going yeah, through, really. and it, then you wait for it to pop on. It's either going to pop on that you won or that you lost. So yeah. there is that little excitement at the very end. You know, at very. I don't think second, I've ever you know. bid on anything. I I, we, I don't do that much. Yeah. We try to no, buy most and try to buy, them. buy it now, but but it is once in a while. There's those things you want. The and bidding, it's just like, you know, you can get a really good deal. Yeah, like right now, I'm watching Resident Evil Four, and the guy's only at the highest bid right now. I think it's like an hour left, less than an hour. It's only fourteen bucks. Now, so who knows what his high is, but if the guy is putting it up for auction, and let's say it's a two thousand dollar thing, which I'm sure this has never happened, and someone bids one penny, can't no. the seller just not sell it? No. So his first bid, he'll make his first bid his lowest. So there's a uh, what there's do they a call minimum that? bid you have to. Yeah, there's a there's starting a minimum bid. bid or starting bid. And so the guy sometimes, has to at least sell. It for yeah, that sometimes price. you'll be you you want if something's worth two thousand. 
It's called a it's called a reserve. Yeah, you'll you'll start the There's a reserve, and if it doesn't hit that reserve, then you don't. But like he said, and on these things okay. in car auctions, that's the way it is. The, yeah, they'll yeah, put their, it has to hit it has to hit a floor. Basically. Well, yeah, it'll yeah. say starting okay. bid, and if nobody even bids at that starting bid, then they, they just keep. it. You'll see that yeah. too. You'll see it at fourteen dollars for something that goes for close to hundreds or whatever, and you get excited. And then it gets to near the very end where you'll see that people and have done it before, and it starts. It just goes. Yeah, because yeah. I yeah. did that when I um. I saw it was a Harvest Moon for Nintendo 64, and it was in complete in box. It was like twenty some bucks, and I'm looking. I'm like, these things go for like almost a couple hundred dollars. It's like oh, I'll come back and look at it. Came back and looked at it. It was like 150. I'm like, oh, yeah. Never mind, because everybody does it the last second. So it, it's good to keep an eye on it. Like, yeah, definitely. You know, because people, but people are starting to all do the same thing where they're waiting to the last second. Yeah. And just start. And that's been going on for years. Yeah. Like, there's there's, you know, eBay veterans that, that do that for. And a see, living. that's the they thing. That's that's the other thing is too. that they have it set up to where you you put your bid if you bid early, earlier. You'll bid like eighty-five dollars, and it says you're the leader, and then it will tell you or ask you to bid your max. Yeah, and your max should be your max, and it protects. But that's you as also else a hidden thing yeah. from everybody else. Yeah. So if you wait to the last second and you're just trying to go eighty-four when it's eighty-five, and you're waiting to the last few seconds, by the time it goes through, you're going to lose. Yeah, because the other so guy's that's max why, could be a hundred. Exactly. Yeah. So okay. you can't go if you're going to wait to the last second. You got to put your max. Not just try to go above that little bit of a bid by a dollar or two dollars, and um, which I've done and end up losing. So you need to go if you're going to go at the last second, five seconds, three seconds, which I prefer your max. And I try to even if my max is one fifty, I always try to go one fifty, one hundred two, or is it some oddball yeah. thing at, you know over the top? And make it don't make it even. Sixty nine, sixty nine. That's the way you want to do it. Nothing. Really. If that's yours. <laughs> yeah, if that's your max, do you? Yeah, do. if that's what yeah. you're into. Well, yeah, I guess that'll conclude the very first episode of Once Upon a Time in Gaming. Uh, I guess we'll see you next week where we'll be talking about Universal Studios <laughs> theme parks, the game on GameCube. 